Sup, y'all? I'll bring you guys another video. So, did you guys know that uh, a boxing event recently happened over in the Philippines that the Lord the International Productions uh, put up uh, with Vic Saludar versus Robert Paradero headlining the event? Did you guys know that? Because honestly, I didn't know that until the night before. Um, but yeah, Vic Saludar fought Paradero for the vacant. WBA title uh, at the uh, 105 pounds and uh, as you guys can see Vic Saludar won the fight before I get more into the video I just want to say thank you thank you so much for watching please subscribe for more boxing and please hit that like button it helps out the video it helps out the channel I'd really appreciate it and also I'd like to apologize for the lack of boxing videos the past few days I've just been busy in real life um, tending to stuff when it comes to my upcoming wedding so i apologize for the lack of boxing videos uh but here they are and uh we start off talking about this fight uh saludar versus pardero if you want to see the fight it's available here on youtube uh just search up vic saludar here on youtube or you know vic saludar versus pardero uh this guy um wandering news posted it up here on youtube i honestly didn't see the full entire fight I just don't have time right now to watch the whole entire fight, but uh, watching some of it, um, it seemed pretty competitive. And actually, it ended up being a split decision win for Vic Saludar. He won by split decision. Two judges had it in his favor, 115-113, 116-112. And one judge had it in favor of uh, Paradero, 118-110. Uh, so uh, it, it was a competitive one. And with this loss, Paradero, Robert Paradero, at the age of 24 years old, suffered his first loss. Now 18-1, and 1, 12 wins come by way of knockout at TKO. Vic Saludar improves to 21-4, and 4, 11 wins come by way of knockout at TKO. Two wins since losing against Wilfredo Mendez back in 2019 where he lost his WBO title. Now going into this fight, Saludar was the more experienced fighter. He was the more, um, he's been in there against better opposition. He's fought uh, better fighters. He's a former champion. And, you know, for him to fight Paradero, he was definitely the big favorite going to this fight. But for Paradero to win, you know, make this fight competitive with less experience and not fighting that many top opposition goes to show what potential Paradero has. 24 years old, has a long future ahead of him, still young. Definitely a learning experience for him. And actually, if you watch, uh, like I said, I didn't watch the whole entire fight. I just don't have time right now. Um, but uh, some people are demanding a rematch, uh, judging from the comments. People want to see a rematch that, um, you know, Paradero probably won this fight. Some people seems like he, judging from the comments, some I guess some people thought he won this fight. So maybe a rematch would be cool sometime down the line. I wouldn't mind it. Um, I mean, if you look at the rankings right now, by the way, if you're wondering who the former WBA minimum weight champion is, it's uh, uh, Knockout Super Fresh Mart. Huh? What happened? Did he get stripped off the belt? I mean, he fought last year. So I don't know why he's no longer the champion. But apparently, Knockout Super Fresh Mart is no longer the super champion. Uh, or maybe he's the super champion now, and I guess this is the WBA um regular title that the uh, vic won maybe if you guys don't know wba has two kind version belts um one is uh the super and one is the regular so maybe the the belt that saludar won is the regular version i guess that's what i'm assuming so yeah interesting anyway it would be cool to see you know knockout super fresh mart versus saludar i think that'd be pretty cool uh, as for Paradero, you know, he can, he, it's a learning experience for him. And with COVID going on right now, it seems like the big fights are hard to get. I mean, looking at Filipino events this past year, it seems like it's Filipinos versus Filipinos this past year. Um, but, you know, uh, hopefully, hopefully um, things will go back to normal and, you know, we can see the big fights. So anyway. If you saw this fight, let me know what did you think about it in the comment section below. Thanks for listening, thanks for watching, and like always, have a great day. Alright, thanks.